My group has made a, a bit of a splash just recently because we invented what we call tractor beams. And so we call them tractor beams because of the relationship to the technology from Star Trek. So it's uh, like science fiction being made real. So what a, what a tractor beam is, is a wave. A lot of people will be familiar with the idea that a wave can push. Uh, if you've gone to the beach, waves exert forces, they push you downstream. What we discovered is that it's possible to structure a wave so that now the wave doesn't just push, the wave can actually grab an object, hold onto it, or even pull it. When we were first making the tractor beams in the lab, at first all we could do is move really tiny things, very, very small distances, just over a micrometer, a millionth of a meter. We're not lifting up an entire battle cruiser and hauling it across space. But then, once you've got it to centimeters and then to meters, uh, the next step really is kilometers, and that's what we're working toward now. If you have tractor beams, if you're able to sample stuff remotely from a safe distance, you can imagine uh, looking at smokestack plumes uh, to see what particles are, in, are, are contributing to the pollution. In space exploration, this would be a very big deal. So we're actually collaborating with uh, uh, NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center down in Maryland to create really long-range tractor beams for space exploration. I'm a Star Trek fan, and so I can't help seeing analogies between what they were doing, what they were dreaming of in, in the 1960s, and what we're finally able to do in the laboratory. And I say finally, you've got to realize that Star Trek was supposed to be in, in the 2200s, the 23rd century, so we're a couple of year, hundred years ahead of time. We're, 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 we're doing well.